Okay, in just a minute, we're going to verify trigonometric identities by transforming the left side into the right side. But first, if you don't mind, if you would pause this video and write down these fundamental tri trigonometric identities, um, including the tangent and cotangent identities and the Pythagorean identities. Um, once you've done that, unless you already have them memorized, start the video again, and we'll do the problems, okay? All right, here we go. <clears throat> the first problem that we have to solve is this one, and it is 1 plus cosine 2 theta times 1 minus cosine 2 theta is equal to sine squared 2 theta. Sorry, 2 theta. The first thing I want to do is this. It's just a very simple idea. This 2 theta is the same as this 2 theta, which is the same as this 2 theta. It's just our new theta. So if you don't mind, just for um, convenience sake, I like to just let x equal 2 theta. I'm just going to go back now, and every place I found 2 theta, I'm going to put an x. It makes it much simpler for me. So 1 plus cosine x times 1 minus cosine x is equal to sine squared x. We have to remember to go back and re-substitute at the end, so something to keep in mind here. Now, we can just foil this if you'd like, but hopefully you recognize this as difference of squares, and difference of squares suggests to us that if we have a minus b times a plus b, that what we truly have is a squared minus b squared. So I'm going to go with this idea here, and I'm going to do this little bit of math, and that should give us 1 minus cosine squared x is equal to sine squared x. And if you'll notice, I have not done anything to the right-hand side because we're supposed to be transforming the left-hand side into the right-hand side. Um, also, just a really quick thing, that if, if you have cosine of x times cosine of x, you don't get cosine x squared, you get cosine squared x. Just as a formality, something to keep in mind here. And we know that this is true because this is a Pythagorean identity. The Pythagorean identity that this proves, this is problem is done through the Pythagorean identity. Pythagorean identity. And the specific one that we're talking about is that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. And by simply doing just a little bit of algebra here, we can rearrange this to be this. Uh, I did say at the end we should go back and resubstitute. So remember that x is equal to 2 theta. So we're going to get 1 minus cosine squared 2 theta. That's me resubstituting that x value and is equal to sine squared 2 theta. Problem solved. Let's try one more, please. The next problem might look like this. next problem looks like this. We have cosine squared theta times the quantity secant squared theta minus 1 is equal to sine squared theta. Takes a little bit of doing, but if you look at this a little bit, you can kind of figure that we know that sine squared theta is equal to cosine squared theta, I'm sorry, negative cosine squared theta plus 1. So we have to look at this a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade in this piece right here. If you look at your identities, you realize that we can trade in secant squared theta for 1 over cosine squared theta. This is an equivalent piece. This piece is this piece. This negative 1 right here is this negative 1 right here. And remember that we had intended to multiply by cosine squared theta. This cosine squared theta is this one. Remember, we're not going to touch the right-hand side. So here the right-hand side is sine squared theta, sine squared theta. Just a little bit of algebra here. We're going to distribute to here and to here. And of course, cosine squared theta times 1 over cosine squared theta is cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta. Looks like 1 to me. And cosine squared theta times negative 1 is negative cosine squared theta. And remember, this sine theta here has not been touched, and it just comes down as sine squared theta as we're converting the left-hand side to prove the right-hand side. 
And I hope that we can agree that cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta is in fact one. I'm going to bring this down as cosine squared theta equals sine squared theta. And again, this is now proven through the Pythagorean identity. Identities. Pythagorean, this is a one of the Pythagorean identities. And that one that I'm using is that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to one. And we can just algebraically rearrange this to be that. Problem solved.